I have found the best method to collect cosmic summons. As you guys can see right here in my inventory, I actually have 38 of these dragon summons and 9 of these huntsmen summons from the Hunter x Hunter world. And believe it or not, I got that in about 24 hours. Now, I think it was a little bit lucky, so you're going to get a little bit less in 24 hours, but you can get over like 30 in a single day. And that is how these people that are uh, very high up on the leaderboards have gotten to where they are. Now, you might be wondering, well, why did I get dragon summons? Now, these ones are actually just purely for the essence. If you guys don't know, to fully ascend something to Ascension 2 from Ascension 0 to 2, you need 12, uh, or at least you need 12 um, Cosmics to, like, sacrifice. And basically, right now, it's 38, so I would technically be able to get 3 Mythics to Ascension 2. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how did you do that? Currently, right now, in the game, there is a 2 times luck event. By the way, just to let you know, I did this without a 2 times luck event. Like, I grinded this, like, during the middle of the week, and it was no 2 times luck event when I got all of these. Now, the first one is at the green planet, obviously, the Dragon Summon. It is actually the easiest one to get out of all of them. Because whenever you go further down in the world, I think the chances of getting one increases by 10%. So that means it is 10% harder to get the cosmic summon in that world. Which means the green planet is the easiest one and the land of ants is the hardest one. Also, what in the world just happened to this area, bro? So what you basically need is actually a bunch of luck units. It is all you really need that is very important. However, there's some stuff that I want to still talk about that you also have to do but all you need is good quirks now quirks are really easy to get they've actually really simplified it out for everyone to where it's as easy as it can kind of be so it shouldn't really be a problem to get quirks what i like to do is use mythics that i simply don't really need like for example if i go over here you guys will see i have a lot of mythics in my inventory that are like speed hunters these guys are godlies and I don't actually need them, but I have a bunch of essence and I've sacrificed a bunch of them already. So what I can do is simply sacrifice them even more and get them to ascension too. At that point, I can actually put two traits on each of these guys. So what I can do basically, let me go ahead and just do it with a couple of them. Uh, two is good enough. You know, that's, that's good enough for the example. But if I go back here to the quirks and then find the one where I just double ascended, bro. Where did he go? Homie just disappeared. Okay, there it is. And what I'll basically do is select auto roll and then select lucky three as well as leprechaun. And you just roll, bro. That is all you have to do to get this. That is it. Actually, I am going to go ahead and pause it. I forgot to say, I mean, if you want to, um, I also recommend enabling black hole and celestial. Those are pretty good ones if you just want to get them in case like it can go on your damage units. I would definitely turn them on. But, um, yeah, I mean, you just roll like this, and one, it goes very fast, and you also usually get what you want. In total, to get, like, your whole team to have Lucky and Leprechaun on it, it would probably take you, like, two hours, but then you can use that team for weeks. I'm not gonna go ahead and waste my time to do that because I already actually have one and here it is This is my luck team. It is not the greatest. I will say that But um, it is definitely pretty good like right now It gives me a 41.2 times multiplier with the two times luck event So in total it would be over 80 times if I was to get like my full or if I enable the two times boost And I think the max you can get is like around a hundred times now, well, you're probably wondering, how are you supposed to actually get co good cosmic summons when they're a lot harder to get? Now, during times where there is a two times luck event, I highly suggest you grind out the best world or the world that you really want to get the cosmics from to ascend. 
So for example, I would grind the best world because I mean, this is the cosmic that I really care about. So I would be spending most of my time in here trying to get it. Now with the Halloween event, you're probably gonna actually wanna use the pumpkin orb. I think that one is actually a lot better. But other than that, you want to spend your time here. And when there isn't an event, you actually want to be at the green planets because this will help you stack up essence for the update that is coming the upcoming weekend. And right now, if I were to like sacrifice all of these, let me just calculate it. So if I have 38 and I get five per, I would get 190 essence, bro, which is absolutely insane. And I have exactly nine of these huntsmen summons. So you could expect that I can get like at least three units to ascension too. Which means if you were to do it like the way I do it, you will get a full team of cosmic summons in a matter of one week. And I'm talking ascension two cosmics. So is it worth it? Absolutely. It is the best thing you can actually do in the game. That is how these people have gotten so high up on the leaderboards. And it's just overall a very good strat if you are trying to collect a lot of essence because essence is a very annoying thing to get in this game, especially for cosmics. And I mean, since with the dragon summon, you only get the apex furry, you can assume it's a pretty good thing to do. I mean, I'm probably never going to get a godly out of this, so it's kind of pointless for me to want to keep them. And wait, I just noticed that little like orb thing has an eye on it now. But yeah, I mean, this is just a very great way of doing it. And for the luck boost, you can honestly use them at any point during your grind. Either if you want to use it like before the luck event, whenever like you're actually trying to get the essence, you can do that. Or whenever you actually want to get good cosmics. Personally, I use it whenever I'm getting good cosmics because that way, since it's a very hard chance of actually getting one, I have a very good chance. Another thing I've seen many people do is actually go to an area that is a little bit lower, such as like the spirit town, because in this area, you can actually defeat the boss a lot faster. And well, you're probably wondering, why would you want to do that? Well, if you didn't know, with the uh, last update that they did, not the Halloween one, but update 3, if you actually defeat a boss, for example, this Shinya right here, it actually gives you medals for every time you defeat it. Now, I don't know why I didn't get any. Maybe they, like, removed it or something. Hello? Can I please get some medals or have I already ran out? Okay, I think I've already hit my daily limit for medals. That might be why. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about removing the metal thing, so that's probably what happened. But whenever you actually sit on one of these bosses that you can defeat very fast, you actually, one, kill them very quickly, and you get so much medals. So whenever you actually get the orb for that area, you can ascend the guy literally almost like instantly. And usually it's the world before your best world that you can defeat these guys instantly at. I mean, this isn't even like, this is just my luck team that I'm defeating this guy with. So if I were to go even one area further back, such as like the cursed city and go all the way down yeah and go all the way down here this guy is 800 million bro he's literally gonna get one tapped like it is so fast to defeat these guys so i could just sit on this area grind this egg and get all the units as well as get a bunch of metals so overall it makes your grind very sufficient and worth doing but I do have all of these cosmic summons on me right now. So let's go ahead and honestly just summon them. I have a lot and it's going to take me a minute to summon. But here we go. Let's go ahead and begin. Hopefully we can get a godly. That would actually be so cool if we got, got a godly version of this guy. And right now, I mean, this is just a normal one. It's going to take so long for me to go through all of these. But I might as well enable a luck boost because it's actually going to help us. Or I think it's going to help us in terms of getting a godly. I don't know what I would do if I got a godly of the Apex Furry, though. Because, I mean, it's just kind of useless. I would probably just keep it for the rarity and not actually, like, uh, sacrifice it. But this is a very time-ticking process, bro. And I just have my auto-clicker 
sitting on where we just auto summon it, bruh. I wish there was a way to like summon it all at once. Imagine how cool that would be. But yeah, I seriously do not think I want to waste my time summoning those. But instead, the Huntsman. Because believe it or not, I have not opened a single gun. Like, I've never actually opened this thing ever. Because I barely spent time grinding it. I think I, like, grinded it for, like, five or six hours. But there is our gun. There we go, bro. We finally got a god. And I'm probably going to be able to double ascend him if I just get two more. It would be so cool if I got a golly one of this guy. Because I, I heard he's super sick. And I want it badly, bruh. They're giving us Gojo's. No, that is not what we want. I mean, I'll take a Gojo any day, but I really prefer getting the Gon because Gon is actually one of my favorite characters, probably. Even though I don't watch Hunter x Hunter, he's just such a cool character in every anime game out there. Let's go. We have three of him now. So what we can do is go ahead and ascend him. But firstly, let's just go ahead and summon all of these before we do that. And oh my god, bro. We got a Takishi. I don't even want that thing. I mean, it is better than the Gojo. But like, I do not like look forward to that character at any point. Because if you guys don't know... Uh, the, I think the Bleach Raid is like one of the in most annoying raids in the game for some reason. Just because simply you have to go so far around the map. Even the Ant Raid is shorter than the Bleach one, bro. And it's a way bigger map, which just doesn't make sense to me. But we are doing pretty good so far. We got another god. Let's go. We're getting so many of him, bro. So I'm probably going to be able to double ascend two gons. If I think I get one more, I believe. How many have I got? Three, four, five. So yeah, one more and I'll literally be able to double ascend this guy. And there it is, bro. We got one more like we wanted to. Can we maybe get one more? I mean, hey, I don't really care what we get on this last one. I would actually prefer like a Takishi or a Gojo just because I think I'm closer to evolving those. But there it is. We got another con. Okay, that is great. I will not complain, but we are officially out of that. And here we are, the Ascension 2 machine. Let's just go ahead. Oh, wait. First, we actually need to get the currency, bro. Get all the Apex Furries. And here they are. We just gonna have to sacrifice all of these guys. And this is just basically free XP. There we go. We have more than enough to ascend at least one of these guys. Now we got to search up Cursed Hunter. Select this bad boy. Place in his duplicate. And then convert. And there was like a bug where apparently you could like select one of these. Go here. Cancel. And then convert. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't work anymore. But boom. Uh, Wait. What? Oh wait. I'm so dumb bro. We need 60 not 55. Let's go ahead and just quickly go to the Cosmic Summon and summon one more of these. There we go. Now we're done. There we go. Boom. Ascension 2 gone, bruh. Just like that. It's super easy to get. And there we go. I even hatched more of these Apex Furries to literally just sacrifice. And yo, I just had an S tier Apex Furry that I sacrificed. I don't know if you guys saw that. But I'm pretty sure that's got to be somewhat rare to get. But... Here we go. I mean, this is so easy, bro. I'm so happy that I found out about this because it actually makes the game so much easier. And now, like, Cosmics are so easy to get. So, there we go. Boom. We just type in the Apex, or what is it called? Uh, Cursed Hunter. Yeah, that guy. Select one. Boom. Ascend. And then select two more just like so and ascend that as well there we go we now have two so yeah i literally made one and hold on let me get the other one where did the other one go wait a minute no way i did what i think i did all right bro we are not gonna talk about how the game 
let me just do an ascension two into an ascension one, bro. I promise I did not mean to do that, bro. I don't know why the game even lets you do that. It's fine. I mean, it was so easy to get, bro. I'll literally just get it in a span of a day. But why does the game let you do that? That is the dumbest thing they have in this game. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed about that, but it is fine, bro. We're just gonna have to get over it. I actually forgot it's four cosmics that you need to combine so i didn't even have enough to get the second one well can we just get an l in the comments for that but yeah you guys got the point of the video and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video watch the video on the screen it's one of my best videos yet and i'll catch you all in the next one have a great rest of your day